What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're gonna to talk about how to make $10,000 per month consigning sneakers. A lot of people have been DMing me asking me, how do you do this? I figured I might as well just make a full video on it, step by step, what stores to consign with, what shoes to consign, and how to keep repeating the process until you finally hit $10,000 per month consigning sneakers. So to get started, consignment's very simple. All you do is you simply just get a pair of shoes, give it to a store, they sell it, and they simply just take anywhere from 20 to 30% of the sale of the shoe. Now you're probably wondering, Goat and StockX only take anywhere from 10 to 12%, so why would I give up 20 to 30% of a sale? The answer to that is simple. Goat and StockX, there's probably like 100,000 sellers on Goat and StockX. Your local consignment store, there's probably one to maybe 25 different consigners that actually consign pairs at that store. And now we all know when you walk into a sneaker store, prices are typically $100 to $200 more than StockX and GOAT. So if you get a pair and you give them your shoe and you consign it, you're probably gonna make $100 more than you would on StockX and GOAT. So that's the biggest reason why you wanna consign your pairs. Now, the second question is, where do you get a consignment store? How do you find a consignment store? Now with our software, we work with a lot of stores that do consignment. Many, many stores have joined our consignment software simply because it's very easy to keep track of everything, pay out consigners, consigners can view what they have for sale. The store can pretty much manage absolutely everything in terms of store own and consignment. And so we work with a lot of stores and we've seen a lot of stores significantly increase their revenue just because consigners have given them pairs. So for stores, it's worth it as well. And I wanna put a bunch of different numbers here from last month to this month on how much stores actually increase the revenue by taking in consignment. Like I mentioned, you wanna find a store near you. My biggest recommendation is simply finding a store that's local to you. If you live in the States, if you live in the UK, if you live in Europe, it doesn't matter where you live, you probably have some stores by you, some sneaker stores that you've either been to or you just know about. And now my word of advice is simply just asking every single store that's by you do you do consignment? Majority of them will probably say that they do it or they'll simply just ask, what do you have to consign? And you can let them know. And just like that, if you build relationships locally with stores to try and consign with them, that will be the most profiting thing. Now, once you build that relationship, the most ideal thing to do is have majority of your pairs in that store. So what does that mean? If we go on my computer, there was a consigner that essentially reached out to me on Instagram and told me, I wanna get a store to start consigning. And so they basically you know, got the store on the consignment system, gave them more than 350 pairs. As we can see right here, it was more than this, but um, they've sold 219. If we look at how much that totals to, that's 55,000 that he sold at this store. And if we scroll all the way down to when the first sale was, it looks like it was April 7th. Since April 7th to now, he sold $55,000 worth of inventory. Now that was essentially four months ago. So if you do the math on that, he's clearing over like $10,000 in sales, probably a little bit more per month. And let's say he's running on a 30% profit margin. And within the four months, he sold $55,000 worth of inventory. That puts him at about like 13.5 at a 30% profit margin. He's basically made over $4,000 per month just off of one local store, just one local store. And now if he gets into a second local store with the system in place and everything is streamlined, that puts him at $8,000 per month. Now the question you're probably wondering is, all right, you get into a store, they have this system in place, everything is streamlined. I give them all of my pairs, right? How do I know what to give them? And now the good part about the system is you simply just wanna fill in what the store doesn't have. So if we go on this portal, right? We go to this GS Military Black and we click Quantity One. We can see that this store doesn't have a size five. They don't have a five and a half. They don't have a six. They don't have a six and a half. Now let's click the six, right? And it'll say average day in stock, stays in stock for eight days, average sale price, 470 and now we know if we put this at 470 our return is going to be 374. if we find military blacks locally for 300 in a size six right there that's a 75 dollars profit and i think we all know watching this video that to find a gs military black for 300 locally 
is very easy. And we can basically fill in that size six. We can fill in that size seven. They've sold for 475 consistently. We fill in that size five, that size four and a half. So the biggest thing is number one, getting local consignment stores. Number two, getting them on this system. So, I mean, right now, not to be biased or anything, but sneaker consign is the greatest system for consignment right now. Not only does it help the store scale tremendously, it also helps consigners with sales, cashing out, pretty much doing everything. As we can see right here, there's a cash out feature. All you do is just hit cash out via bank account, just like this, and then your cash out is essentially just gonna be processed whenever the store accepts it and you get paid. So it's a very, very streamlined system. So like I was saying, first step, get a store local to you, get them on a system and flood them with pairs. Now the most profiting thing, and like I said, you're probably gonna get majority of sales if you do this, is if you get them the pairs that they don't have, all the fill-in sizes that they don't have, you can price your pairs for significantly more than anything else. Because let's say for example, you have a bunch of Panda Dunks and you're like, I'm gonna consign Panda Dunks and that's fine. Typically Panda Dunks will move at about 220 to 250 on consignment. After all fees, you're probably gonna get back 180 to 200, maybe 220 after selling your Pandas. But now if we look at other shoes like a Military Black, right? Those are typically gonna sell for a lot higher. And with Pandas, a lot of people are usually gonna have those pairs on consignment. So if you consign pairs that is simply not in stock and the store doesn't have it, you can charge a lot more money for that shoe. And now to kind of simplify terms for you, right? If we look at that military black, right? And if we find a hundred other shoes just like that, and let's say on average, we profit a hundred dollars per pair. All we need to do is just sell a hundred pairs in a month. And that puts us to $10,000 profit. So to give you guys another kind of case study of how exactly another consigner made $10,000 per month using our system is if we go onto his portal right here, we're gonna blur his name out, but as we can see, he has 448 pairs listed, 268 sold, and almost $70,000 in sales. Now you guys are probably wondering how long did it take him to do that $70,000 in sales? If we go into his sold, as we can see, these are all of his sales, all of the shoes he's selling is for way over market. The first shoe he sold was on June 15th. Right now, it's currently August 15th. So it's been exactly 60 days. He sold $70,000 in shoes. And if we go to all of his sales, Every single shoe he's selling way above market. This 10 and a half Jordan 4. If we go on StockX, that shoe is 335. He got a return of $400. Now, after fees, we know on StockX, you'd probably get back 300. He got 400. And so every single shoe he's selling, it's almost $100 over StockX. So we can assume that his margin is probably around 30% per shoe. If we do 30% of 70,000, which would basically be his profit for those sales, that's $21,000 divided by two, that's 10,500. So in the last 60 days, the last two months, he's made $10,000 per month. And now if we go through his sales, you guys are probably like, well, you have to pick the right stuff to basically send into a store. The biggest thing for him was he knew a store that did buy, sell trade that was local to him. They had multiple locations and he simply just told them, I can give you guys a bunch of my pairs to consign, get on the system, sneaker consign system so I can get cashed out. So everything is fully automated. As we can see, all of his cash outs have smoothly went through. It shows all of his sold items. And as we can see, a lot of the shoes that he's selling are pretty typical. Yeezy slides right here uh nike dunks he's getting 208 after all fees and we all know stock x is like 130 for those so that's an easy 70 to 80 dollar profit like a lot of these shoes are not sitting for more than 20 days as we can see like majority of all of them are moving pretty quickly like i mentioned before all the margins are significantly higher than any place else so now to kind of solidify making ten thousand dollars per month what this consigner did was simply he literally just took over his local store they didn't do consignment he told them i'll give you a bunch of my pairs they got on the system so everything can be tracked he can get cashed out correctly so it gave him that level of safety and everything has been smooth and personally i think he's going to continue to do ten thousand dollars in profit every single month with this store he is the main consigner in the store this is my point i'm trying to make is that 
If you go to every single store local to you, you let them know, I have a bunch of pairs I wanna consign. Even if they don't do consignment, a lot of them are open to the idea. Most stores, first of all, in the beginning, don't wanna do it simply because there is nothing to keep track of it. So they have to do everything through pen and paper. With this, they won't have that issue. You guys are probably like, all right, you know, you can sell all these pairs easily through consignment with the system. The whole part about sourcing, to give you the straightforward answer, you really just need to source on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, eBay, Instagram, really any place that will sell lower for these prices right here. I mean, if we go to this Racer Blue, size 11, that's 141 on StockX, which pretty much means locally you can probably get that pair for 10, 20 bucks lower. He's clearing 192. So if he's paying about 120 for that racer blue, that's pretty much $80 in profit. That's really my point. The quickest way I think you'll make $10,000 a month consigning is go to stores local to you, ask if they do consignment. If they don't do consignment, ask if they'd be open to doing it. I'll be honest with you, there's at least one local store to you that would do consignment. Get them on a system where you have some safety. And again, for stores, it's the most streamlined system for them. So if they wanna cash you out, every single sale that they make through Shopify is synced through here. So as I pretty much showed you guys, that $10,000 a month, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard. There are some downfalls to consignment that a lot of people won't mention to you. The biggest thing is simply working with stores that you trust. We have over 100 plus locations on our system. I'd say for the most part, 99% of them, we trust them. But my biggest suggestion is try and work with stores that are local to you. Because let's say you drop off a bunch of pairs and you need to get some of them out. It's as easy as just making a 20, 25 minute drive to the store and just getting them out. Whereas if you're not local to them, it's a little bit different. Now, that's not to deter you from consigning with places that are out of state. I personally do it myself with a lot of the stores we work with. I send them my own pairs. I've sold a lot. I've sold a lot of my pairs and have made a really good profit doing it. But again, I think that if you're more of a beginner in reselling, just try and stick to local consignment. It's as simple as that. Oftentimes on my Instagram, I announced that, you know, we're taking more people to flood the consignment stores that we work with because a lot of the time, a lot of them are pretty filled. Not all of them have a bunch of backspace. So a lot of them are pretty filled in that regard. So I would follow my Instagram at sneaker invest because I make a lot of announcements on when more stores need pairs, the stores that work with us on sneaker consign, sometimes I give a chance to you as the consigner to go ahead and flood your pairs in there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big, 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 big thumbs up. If we can get this video to 5,000 likes, I will keep posting videos on how to scale consignment. Like I said, I work with a lot of stores, so I'm getting the ins and outs of like, what sells, what doesn't sell, what sells in certain locations, what shoes sell in certain states. We also work with stores from UK, Europe, and Australia. So even for you guys, you know, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll even make videos for that as well. That's it for today's video. Comment down below any questions you guys have, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.